I'm Becky Bronstein. Welcome back to Microcosmic Storytime with Becky. Tiny little fascinating weird stories from history that you never hear about because no one else cares. Today we're going to talk about Robert Devereux, the second Earl of Essex. Who the hell was he? I'll tell you. Robert Devereux, he was born in 1565, Elizabethan England, like Queen Elizabeth, the original queen, like Judy Dench was the queen. Robert Devereux was just like this minor celebrity thing, like he's at the party, but you're just kind of like, oh, okay. So this guy, he's very charming, worldly, funny, smarmy, and he's always hitting on all the ladies and just smooth. He's Russell Brand. So Queen Elizabeth loves this guy. She is the president of his fan club. So she like invites him into the royal court to be one of her favorites. Being one of the queen's favorites was like a job you could have. He's in the queen's entourage. So this makes him famous. He starts getting involved in like affairs of the state. He's got ideas. He's got plans and he's he thinks he can help run the country. But like he starts taking this for granted. The queen loves him and he knows it. So he's becoming kind of a pain in the ass. They, they were having a problem with Ireland. They're always having a problem with Ireland. So they have like a council meeting of like all the people that are trying to figure out like what the hell to do and Robert Devereux is just leaning back in his chair and he's just kind of like arguing with the queen he's like this is what I think we should do and she's like no oh, that's stupid shut up and he was putting up such a fight that the queen actually walked over and punched him in the head like punched him right in the ear and he drew his sword on the queen this does not happen. The queen doesn't punch somebody in the head and you certainly don't draw your sword on the queen. This is nuts. The queen says, okay, you think you know so much? Guess what? Your job now is to go to Ireland and figure it out. The queen just like puts him on a boat, sends him to Ireland and says, you're not allowed back into England until you have fixed what's going on in Ireland. So Robert Devereux sails to Ireland and he's got all his soldiers and his guys and his men, but they don't like him. He's, he's fancy. He's got hairdos. The queen likes him and he's smarmy and he's trying to sleep with all their girlfriends. So what he does is he starts buying their loyalty by knighting everybody who came over on the ship with him, knighting the cook, the bathroom attendant, the janitor, he's knighting the rats. He's just making it rain knighthoods. And now they like owe him their lives. And there was a joke that used to circulate that he only ever draws his sword to knight people because he's a powder puff. So he's got all his knights in Ireland, but he has no plan to solve this problem. He like went to the pub and got drunk and has no idea what's going on. He got lost, he's drinking Guinness, he's falling on the cobblestones, he's an idiot. So he calls Queen Elizabeth <laughs> and he's like, yo, I don't know what's going on over here, but like, we gotta talk about this. This sucks. I was just kidding, you were right. This is really hard. The queen is like, no, you can't come home until you fix it. So like royal order that he cannot come back to England until he has accomplished his mission, which he did not do. But get this. So Robert Devereux gets on a boat in like the middle of the night under the cover of darkness and just sails to England and then sneaks into the palace and sneaks into the queen's bedroom and she wakes up just in her PJs and there's Robert Devereux standing in the bedroom going, dude, we need to talk. So the queen was like, we need some boundaries. Now he's really in trouble. What she decides to do to punish him, she's like, makes him stay home. She issues a stay at home order. He's not allowed to go out and about. He's not allowed to go to parties. He's not allowed to sell merch. So he's not making any money. He's not getting in the papers. TMZ is not covering him. He's out of the spotlight. He's done. So he's hiding in his mansion. He's plotting and he's scheming and he's fuming and he's pissed. And then one day he's like, I can't take not being famous anymore. I am not Shia LaBeouf. So he rounds up some of his knights and they're pissed too because they're just pissed. Knights are always mad. So he just kicks open the door and he marches out of his castle into the town and heads for the palace. And he demands an audience with the queen and he's got all his knights and they got all their swords. And well, guess what? The queen's guards are like, he's trying to overthrow the government. This is a rebellion. Like they're gonna blow stuff up. So they grab him and they arrest him. And they're like, this guy is plotting against the queen. This is totally treason. And he's like, no, it isn't. I love the queen. I just wanted to talk. And she's like, yeah, right. No one ever just wants to talk. So they take him and they throw him in the Tower of London, which is where they tortured and killed people. Spoiler alert, he, he, got, he got the chop. He was the last person ever to be executed in the Tower of London. And get this, the executioner was a guy named Thomas Derrick and he was a criminal. He was going to be sentenced to be executed, but he got pardoned on the condition that he then become 
the executioner for the rest of his life. Nobody wanted to be an executioner. Like, the family of the people you killed were always, like, trying to come at you. Like, you had to chop people's heads off every day. Like, it was not a good job. He did not want to do this. This was totally a punishment. So Thomas Derrick is the executioner on duty when the Earl of Essex comes in to get his head chopped off. Guess who pardoned him and sentenced him to be the executioner? Robert Devereux, the Earl of Essex. He got his head chopped off by the guy that he pardoned and sentenced to be the executioner. What? Thomas Derrick executed Robert Devereux and it took three tries to chop his head off. That's how shaken he was. You know what I mean? Like this guy chops heads off for a living. Like he's not a shaky guy. He gets them on one chop, but this took three tries. Are you serious? What a terrible day. The executioner, Thomas Derrick, not only was he an executioner, he's kind of an engineer. He was always thinking like, how can we chop heads off faster? And like, how can we hang people in a smarter way? Kill more people and have more fun. So he he builds this like scaffolding that like you hang people from and he had this like head chopping machine and all this and this machine that you could hang people from and chop their heads off with that he built was used and was called a Derrick. After him, Thomas Derrick, and we still today use that word to refer to, you know, like an oil Derrick. That's him. That's Thomas Derrick, the executioner. So the moral of the story is be careful who you pardon because someday they might chop your head off, and it might take three tries, and I imagine that's not something you want. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more stories and also other wacky fun things. You never know what's going to happen. See you next time.